Hey guys, I'm Riz Grestar, and how about we play Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass? So last time we finally made our way through Temple of the Ocean King again, and we got another sea chart. I honestly don't remember where exactly it is. I assume it's to the east, so I'm just going to draw a trail over here. Go to the southeastern sea. Yes! I still don't think I've ever actually tested whether or not I could go straight north to get to the, like, northwestern part. But we're not going to care about that right now because we need to go and find those three sacred metals or whatever in order to create the Phantom Sword, which should have the power to defeat Bellum once we get Zaos to actually, like, forge it for us. So that's the hope, and here we are. Yep, never been here. Alright, let's, I guess first things first, let's go see what this island is. Goron Island? What? I have a Goron Amber. Are they gonna love me? That'd be cool. Oh, look at that sun up there. I'll shoot it. I missed. Maybe I could get the seagull. Nah, I've already tried. You can't get seagulls. Is that a frog? No, I think that was just my cannonball splashing down. I just saw a splash and I got excited. You know, sir? That looks like a Goron. Ha! <laughs> I mean, kind of. I mean, if you're primed to be thinking about Gorons, then, uh, then you might think that. But this is definitely the island. So let's give it a look. Are those are those supposed to be like eyes? Or is that is that a little hut? I don't know what this is. Wow! What in the world is this? Oh, is there an Oh no! That's a cyclone! How did he even know before it appeared? Oh man, what? Whoa! That was crazy! Who did that cyclone think it was anyway? The engine is soaked! We're stuck! Uh-oh. Uh, hang on. Does something feel odd to you? Ah! Look, kid! Oh no, it's a black fish thing! What is that disgusting thing? And at a time like this, this day couldn't get any worse! Okay, but we need to face up to it, Riz. A monster like that? Who knows how to deal with it? Maybe. Oh! Fire! Fire, fire, and fire some more! Yeah, as long as you keep shooting, we just might survive this! I'll man the machinery, you just aim and fire! Right. But he said that the ship wasn't able to move, right? The engine was stuck, I believe he said. Or he said the engine was soaked and we were stuck. Oh, I thought this was like still cutscene-ish. I wasn't shooting yet. Okay, I will keep firing at you. I assume I want to hit your eyes. Those seem like the only vulnerable spots to me. Trying not to get shot while also trying to shoot him didn't seem to work. Um, I mean, proud of myself in general, yeah. I'm not saying that was the best that I've ever done, but... Ow, what was that second thing that fired at me? Well, I guess it's good, it's like giving me health, isn't it? How many eyes are left? I can't tell. Ah, ah, ah! That was enough, apparently! I was gonna say, unless it comes back with another form, like, angrier, but no, it seemed like it was good, so... Wow, how do we do that? We sent it to the bottom of the sea, Riz! And hey, the engines had a chance to dry out, so set our course! Let's go! Alright, well hey, positive things here. I feel like since we were trying to go to Goron Island when that happened, we were supposed to go to Goron Island. It's like when I was looking for that sun symbol in order to get the sea crest. Um, or was that where I was putting the sea crest? I don't remember. But um, when I was looking for that, I tried to go to one of the islands. I forget what its name is now. Molida, I think. And um, then I had that first sea boss fight. So, yeah. It's the Goron song! Okay. Hey, look at the map! No houses! I wonder if there's any pure metal here. Ha! <sighs> Amateur! Places like this always have treasure stowed somewhere! Fine then. You supposedly have a nose for this, so we'll follow your instincts. Can't say if it's pure metal we'll find, but whatever we scare up, it's all mine! I'm chewing on Ocean's er, uh, the Ocean King's offer, Riz. Chewing on what? He'll grant any wish that I whip up! But what could you wish for, or what would you wish for? I'm curious. Treasure, right? Or maybe you'd wish for three more wishes. Ah, oh, I'm not a cheater. Wine back. You don't understand Riz at all, do you? He's doing this for Tetra, for the Ocean King, and to bring peace to the seas. 
Hmm. You're sort of a good guy, Riz. Thank you for noticing. Wow. That was out of character for me, wasn't it? Yes, it was, kind of. Blech. Go then. Get out of my sight and fetch some of that pure metal. Alright, bye, Linebag. Well, that was weird. Linebag must have eaten something funny. Whatever, Riz. Let's go look for that pure metal. Okay, let's go. Do I get mail? I want mail! Alright, well, I need hearts. That would be... It's a Goron child! You have put your foot on Goron Island, Outsider. Make yourself known to all. We Gorons are proud, and we do not play with strangers. If you say so, I'll go make myself known to all. Isn't it fun hearing this, guys? At least for now. Do, 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 do. How unusual. We rarely see offline or er, off islanders here. I would just say like offline, I don't know. Outsider. You have put your foot into a Goron home, which we carve out of solid rock. We find them cozy, since they stay cool in summer and warm in winter. Ah. How dependable. Well. Glad I made myself known to him. He was handy. Okay, I guess I do just have to go up the stairs at this point. Actually, no, there's this little bridge to this other house. It's actually, like, marked as a house on the map. Is it because it's a shop? It is! Hey, look, are those bomb chews? That must, or might be, what the holes are for in the walls. I put a bomb chew through it, you know? Welcome to the only store on Goron Island. If there's something you want, tap it. What's this? The quiver, you'll be able to carry more arrows, but that's a thousand rupees, that's a lot. Can I get this or do I need a bomb chew bag? I can't sell you bomb chews if you don't have a bomb chew bag. Sorry. I was right, though. What's this? Yellow potion. Um, restore all hearts, that's cool. What's the purple one? Um, eight hearts automatically. Hey, you know, that's... Okay, so this was 150. I just want to compare the prices really quick. What was this one? Wait, so the one to restore 8 hearts is 50, or 150, and the one to instantly restore all hearts is 150. That seems odd to me. Oh, this is if you fall. Okay, so this one is like, if I die, I won't really die, I'll be healed instantly. And the other one is just, it'll heal you all of your health, but if you die, you die. So let's buy this. Yay! You got the purple potion! Drink it to restore 8 hearts. Keep it, and if you lose all of your hearts, it will automatically restore them. That's handy. It will be in your item menu. So I want to check that, my item menu, real quick. Because I don't know... I know that I used one of the red potions while I was last in the Temple of the Ocean King. And it did seem to have used it up, because, yeah, now I only have one slot. It sucks that you can only have two potions at a time. I would totally, like, stock up on those. But for now... Oh, I didn't mean to draw. I don't want anything more in here. I don't want to buy arrows or anything like that, so I'll just leave. And I don't want to spend a thousand on a quiver. Maybe if it were like Beetle Shop, his shop ship, you know, or sh ship shop? I don't remember. Then I might for the points, especially for a double point day, right? But not just there. Have you ever heard of something called a store? We finally have one here. <laughs> if you lose your shield, you can pick up a new one there, Outsider. If I lose my shield? Oh. Is my shield wooden? Oh, it probably is, huh? Yeah. Um, and then I could just... That looks kind of weird. Sorry, a bit on the map, like a penis. Anyway, um, <laughs> I guess there's gonna be lava here, is what I'm trying to say to you guys. Suck to you now. Oh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. Yeah, thank you. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if only she were mine. What, you have heard that somewhere else? Doubtful outsider. Yeah, no, that was the one dude who often yells at me and asking if I have ship parts even though I'm a young boy. Like, do you have a cannon? No, mister, I don't have a cannon. You should get yourself a cannon. I'm eight years old. Why do you want me to have a cannon? Not that Link is eight, but you get what I mean. Look, there are random pots here. Let's break them. Okay, I got two hearts. I am full health. This was a good day. Okay. I'm glad I went this way. I don't know. So I'm still making my way up along. I'm talking to everyone I meet. In case I actually have to, I would hate if I just like ran past the Rigoron up to like where the objective I needed to go. And they're like, did you talk to everyone yet? And I'm like, no. And they're like, go do it. So yeah. Did you not like the fact that it broke your rock? Okay, I thought it was like coming up to me. Your face is new to me, outsider. Have you come from the ship? My father is staring at it. That bothers me. If only someone would tell him. 
I'll tell him for you. Your son is disturbed. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. Let's see. Nope, can't tell him. I am mute. Never mind. Well, in that case, how about we... <gasps> There's another Goron over there by a switch. Okay. Give a shout if you need anything. Hello! Hey! You want to come over here, Outsider? I will put the bridge out for you. Mighty handy. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm going to go up here for now, but hey, you know, like, I'll totally go back down and yell at him again. If, if, if I have to do that every time I need to go across, I will do it. Here of a rock. Okay. An outsider. Have you ever heard of a wood heart? I love them so much. We Gorons eat the small wood hearts in order to grow into big Gorons. Wood hearts? No. What's a wood heart? It's kind of frightening. Is it like the bulb of a, of a very thick plant? I don't know. Like a flower. Hey, it's a, it's the shock chews. Okay, let's get my sh shovel out. <laughs> it's not a sword. Get this. No, just right there. Dig! Thank you. Okay, let's talk to him first. I don't know who you are, outsider, but I'm glad to see you. There's some strange creatures on that cliff. Please make them go away. Okay, let's go do that. Huh? I don't know what that was. Is this a thing that, like, resets itself? It does. Can I just spam this for endless arrows? Well, I guess I already have them. And that's why, because I need to shoot them. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you, Outsider. I'm relieved that those strange creatures are gone. You are a good stranger, Outsider, so please accept this token of my thanks. You got a treasure map! Yes, yes, yes! Okay, cool. It shows where treasure lies at the bottom of the sea. I wonder if I would be blocked if I, like, tried to go up that direction. Because I never did try. I just figured I wanted to go to Goron Island first, because it was a nearer island, you know. Alright, but now that I've explored all I think I can over here, time to go down. Again, I'll shout the bridge if I need to, but I don't. Sweet, because I didn't want to. Can I talk to you again? Now you can cross anytime you want. No toll, of course. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. I don't know why you didn't just have that bridge out in the first place if you're not, like, concerned I don't know, with having it out at all times. You are an off-islander. We do not share words easily with strangers here. And so I surely cannot tell you that our elder's house is up there. Boop. Well, thank you, Goron. I'll be on my way now. Alright, look, there's this thing! I don't know what that's for. Okay, before I go up, I want to go check over here. Yeah, there's a house. With rocks! Eat it! Eat the rock! Nope, I'll just take the rupees. Alright, what do you have to say? Do you know the big Goron secret, Outsider? No. What we call our island's Goron Amber is actually... On second thought, it is too soon for you to know, Outsider. No, I have a Goron Amber. Would you like it? Menu collection. Right, I can't check that here. Well, it's a darn shame. I am curious. Hopefully, it's nothing gross. I was curious as, like, if it could possibly be, like, the wood heart that they were talking about, but I don't know. Let's dig this up real quick while I'm here. Yay! Oh, was that really only 20? Unfortunate. By the way, I may have already missed some of those dig spots, and I may never go back to them. It's unfortunate, I know. I'll get what I find, but I don't find everything. He's blocking me, okay. Hey, little stranger. You are no Goron. Only members of the Goron tribe can go through here. So I need permission from the Elder to be an honorary Goron. And then I can do it. Oh wait, is this the house that I had marked? Yeah, that must be. Alright, let's go check. Yeah, that looks like, that looks like a dude. Alright, yep. Yeah. You have entered the home of the Elder Goron, the leader of our proud tribe. I'm his son, Gongoron. We do not take kindly to off-islanders, stranger. Okay. I am Big Goron, Elder of this island. Oh, so it is pure metal that you seek, outsider. That is a potent Goron symbol. I will speak of it no further to an outsider. You must first become a member of our tribe if you wish to learn more. So make yourself known to each and every Goron, then we will speak again. 
Have you made yourself known to each and every Goron outsider? Hmm, it appears not. Oh, I thought I had. So I'm not yet convinced that you want to join our tribe. Who did I miss? I talked to both of these guys out in, like, there. No one there. I talked to the dude guarding the gate up here. I talked to you, didn't I? Can I tell you? Yep, I talked to you. I'll just go talk to everyone again if I have to. Shoot, you know? Like, why not? So there we go. This might take a minute, but I don't think it takes long enough for me to justify skipping ahead. Y'all just gotta watch me go talk to every Goron again. And with this, how I'm doing it like this, you can see for sure whether I'm missing stuff, you know? And if I am, well, don't tell me in the comments, because I'm pretty sure by the point you're watching this video, I figured it out, but still. Let's see, I'll just throw this again. Look, I got another rupee. That's great. We'll do it, we'll do it before long. I am sure of it. I will talk to you again, little Goron. Okay, good, you're relieved. I already talked to you, you're the one who likes the ship. And then this is the little, the little dude. Good. We're getting there. I may as well check the ground too while I'm doing this part. See what there is to actually see, you know. As far as like, places to shovel. Did I do this one? I don't remember three rocks. Your face is unknown to me, but I feel fine sharing words with you, and I will share something about our chief. He loves to play question games. Oh. Further, he asks questions that dwell upon the many details of our island life. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, okay, I think this is the only dude that I missed. So after breaking this final rock... Didn't drop anything, okay. I'm gonna go back and try to speak with the chief again. Let's go do it. Hey, I think that does it. We've spoken to everyone on the island. Well, let's go see the elder. Thank you for confirming that, Ciela. Let's go. All right. So this is down here. See, that didn't take too long. Aren't you guys glad? Glies, yeah. Aren't you guys glad you came with me for this? Okay. Jump link. Thank you. And then the elder's house is right up here, and we're there again. Time to speak. Once more. Talk. Yeah. So, you've met everyone in the tribe. I could sense your burning desire to rank among the Gorons, outsider. But does your desire to become a Goron burn to your very core? Let me probe into the matter with a game of questions. Care to take the initiation test? Oh crap, was I actually supposed to pay attention to what the Goron said then? Just what I like to hear. First, let me explain the rules. I will ask you six questions and give you a prize for each correct answer. But get just one wrong and I will take everything back. I will also grant you one Goro hint that eliminates one of the wrong answers. You will understand best if you simply try it. First question! How many homes are there on this island? One, two... Okay, there were two with adults, and then this one, so that's three. And then there were two with kids, I'm gonna go with five. I was wrong. Too bad, I cannot reveal the Gorod pure metal to you with answers like that. But please try again after you've taken note of all the deeds. No, I'm just gonna do it again. Should have taken note of- yeah! Yes? Okay. I know that the answer is six. Correct! You got a green rupee, it's worth one rupee. Impressive! Next question. Alright. How many Gorons live on this island? Well... Duh, I, I mean... There are these two. And then there... Okay, so there are six houses! And this is the only house where we've seen two. So, we're gonna say there are at least seven there. And then outside, there was the one at the bridge, eight. The one that needed the monsters destroyed, nine. The du big dude outside... 10, big dude, 11, big dude, 12, little dude, 13. I'm gonna go 13. Nope! Dang it! Just gonna try it again. It's hard to remember everything, and no, I don't want to run back. I'll just use... I'll just use money. 14. I was one off. Then again, they were only in, like, things of one, so that's okay. Keep it up. Next question. How many homes are there on this island? Six. Correct! 
Yeah, you got a blue rupee, it's worth five rupees, and hey, every time I get one right, I apparently get money back. I thought it was just gonna be one rupee every time, every answer. The Goron at this spot, what is he staring at? Oh shit. Correct! Look, we already got our initiation back, for one of them. You are amazing! You've answered half of the questions with ease! But how will you fare with the remaining three? Let us find out, outsider! How many Goron children live on this island? No, too bad. It's not five. So close, stranger, but I must take back those rupees now. Okay, oh, so I don't make it back. Because he takes back the rupees that I've spent. Gotcha, gotcha. Or that I've earned. Let's do it. Okay. First question. So Goron at this spot, he was looking at his ship. Good. Okay, well done, next question. How many Gorons live on this island? It's 14. And there are six homes, I know that one too. How many homes? There are six. Yay! Okay, let's see. Easy one, stranger. What number question is this? Four. Correct you are! That was easy. Another ru red rupee. So smart, stranger. Your desire to be one of us burns very bright. But two questions remain, and I wonder if you will survive our initiation. So next question. How many Gorons are in their homes right now? I don't think that I ever visited an empty home. I don't think I did. But I think this was the only house with two members in the home. So I'm gonna go with seven. Correct you are! Yes! You got a big green ruby, it's worth 100 rupees! Oh, I can barely tell you from a Goron, stranger! So close, so close! Answer this final question right, and you will officially be a member of us Gorons! How many rocks are there in this home? You have endured so far. You are no amateur, stranger. I will eliminate one of the two wrong answers. How many rocks are there in this home? Three. I think that was the last house that I checked. Or like the house that I checked with the last Goron. And there were three, I made no, because there were no items in any of the houses. So I'm gonna say yes. This is my ultimate answer. Correct! Yay! Who wants to be a Goron, right? Okay. Congratulations! You are now an official brother of our proud Goron tribe. And so it shall now and forever be known, or be, that we call you Goro Riz. I also reward your deep knowledge with this. Uh, bump you bag? No. Wisdom gem! Also good. Okay, cool. Start on the collection screen for now. Ahem. And now, because you are an official member, I need to collect the official dues. Just a one-time payment, of course. 146 rupees. Ah, oh, that's funny. Because over the course of the questions, I believe that's how much we earned. Because first we get a green ruby, one. Then a blue ruby, five. Then we got two reds. So that would be a total of 45. No, 46. 46! 46! And then we got the 100. So yeah, he just... Everything that we got from the quiz. Okay. Thank you. You are now a brother of the Goron tribe in good standing. Enjoy your proud Goron life on our island. So, Chief, how about that pure metal? Oh, yes. I'm growing forgetful in my old age. The pure metal is now in our temple. I put it there for safekeeping. You are now one of us, so you're free to take it, Goro Riz. And a little gonger on there will show you to the temple. I don't know. I mean, like, that works for their tribe, but it doesn't work for humans. It's like, you're a human, so now you're free to go into this museum and take whatever artifacts you want. Like, we would not stand for that, so... Again, I'm glad it works, but yeah, let's talk to Gongoron then. We will never recognize you as a true brother of the Goron tribe, stranger. Do you really want our pure metal? Then just try to keep up with me. Hey, dude, your dad... Your dad recognizes me as a member. Why are you so stuck up? Is it because you tried to be a human and you failed? Where'd that Goron kid get you so fast? We really need to find him. Yes, we do. Let's head up and see if he's here. Have you seen him? Hey, Goro Riz. Looks like you are now an official Goron. What? Gongoron? 
No, I cannot say that I have seen him, brother. All right. In that case, then, let's go talk to this one. Maybe he has seen him. It's possible. You're one of the Gorons now, Goro Riz. In time, you will learn the secrets of the Gorons. That's not what I wanted, but thank you. All right, I mean, gotta find him somewhere. All right. I welcome you as a member of our tribe with open arms, Goro Riz. What? Gongoron? I saw him run to the west side of the island, brother. Thank you. Little Gongoron. Piece of crap. All right, and I assume he ran past here. Let's go check up this way first. We'll talk to this little dude, see if he saw the other little dude. Hey, little dude, you seen any other little dudes here? You're one of us Gorons now, Goro Riz. What? Gongoron? I think I saw him run west, brother. Thank you. Hey, there he is. Catch me if you can, never Goron. As I walk away. All right. How do I get up there? I don't know how to get up there right now. Do you know how to get up there? So you are now a member of our proud tribe, eh, Goro Riz? You should carve yourself a home. They are perfect for Goron life. Thanks, that's not what I wanted. Maybe this small child knows how to climb. So Gongron got away, Goro Riz. I saw him head east. Catch him quick so you can play with me next. Okay. So I'm not supposed to get up there. He's just taunting me and now I have to run to the east. Alright. Let's go catch him. But like, how do I get up there? Because there's like a chest. Or there's a... Oh, maybe it's just that rock. I thought I saw a chest too. Never mind. I guess I'll talk to the little dude across the bridge and see what he says if he ran further west. Go over where? Oh, thank you. Okay. I just clicked too, too quickly the first time, so I did not see the map like light up at all. Well, here we are. Hey, there he is. Over here, not Goron. Come this way. As again, he just walks off. Pretty sure I could catch him at that pace. And now that you are a Goron brother, you could go right in, Goro Riz. If you seek the little Gongoron, he has gone to the temple. Okay, good, because he was supposed to lead me there. That's perfect. I believe that's what he was supposed to do, right? I could either use a bomb plant or my own bombs, I don't know. It's at end, but Gongoron just ran down this way. Yes, he did. How very odd, isn't it? Well... So I opened up one pathway, I just might as well open up the other one. And then I'll go check up here real quick. Oh. Weird. Just another little thing. Oh, is it? It's just a maze. I gotcha. Are you forever zappy zappy? I think he was. And that's what makes him different from the yellow ones. I don't remember, did I need- I think I needed bombs to beat these guys. I just want to see if there's anything, because even if this is not the right path, there could be like treasure at the far end or something, you know? Well, at least there's this. I'm cool to get spare bombs and everything. In fact, let's just run back so it auto-spawns real quick. Do that again. I am full bombs now, or I have full bombs. Good. Then it was not a waste of my time in order to, like, to go this way. With that in mind, what about going this way? Okay, let's just, I don't want to fight you right now. I'm just going to ignore you. Hey, look, yeah, see, we did a good thing. Good. Could grab this, leave him alone. I don't need to fight him. I don't need to, so I'm not going to. I will use these bombs and, like, spare my own while I can. Which I think really just means... I'll use this one here. My own, you know. So that just unlocks the use of this, but that's still good. Because one of those is moving. Use this to fight him. Perfect! Okay. You're gone! This rock is mine! Okay, and then I can use this bomb plant on that crack too. 
There you go. Sweet. Uh, I guess I'll kill you. Why not? Okay, cool. Full health. I think I already was, but why not be fuller? There you go. And I'm assuming I'm gonna find just another crack along here. We will see. Well, there's a treasure. You got a big green rupee. Okay, so it wasn't the right pathway. But still nice to have. There could be a secret crack kind of thing here. It's happened before. And I was right. Okay, cool. And with that, we're done with the puzzle. Like, we're now on the open area. I will check down here for my treasure that I unlocked. You know, I put the spikes down with that switch. Yay, treasure! Okay, but see, that's the weird thing, where sometimes they're normal chests that have these gems, sometimes they're like the big white and golden ones, which I would rather them just stay consistent and be either one or the other. I would rather them be the small ones, because it is cool to get them, but I don't consider them game-changing. Oh, it's a like, like, quite like, um... Why didn't you suck in the bomb? You did it wrong. All right, do it again. Rubbing, 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 rubbing! Ow, that really hurt, Mr. Man. Thank you for not eating my shield. Finally. Okay. I didn't even realize I had to kill him to get spikes down. I was just wanting to move on. Anyway, but yeah, like, the golden and white chest, the big chest, I consider reserved for, like, boss keys or when you get, like, a new item, like a bow, you know. That kind of thing. I wonder if that Goron kid went in here. Guess all we can do is go inside. Even though, how did he get past all the walls? Yeah. And the like, like, and the spikes and stuff. Ah, now it's a shortcut. Perfect. I will take my supplies. Okay, just hearts. But I will still take them from there. Checking along the back just to make sure I'm not missing any little treasures or anything. I am not. All right, guys. Let's go inside the temple. Woo! Cue outro, go!